Do you remember the tough, no-nonsense character from the hit British TV series, The Professionals? His name was Lewis Collins, but to fans of the show, he was better known as Bodie. Bodie was a former SAS soldier turned CIS agent, and he was one of the most iconic characters of the 1970s and 80s. With his rugged good looks, quick wit, and formidable fighting skills, Bodie quickly became a fan favorite and a cultural icon. Whether he was chasing down criminals, battling terrorists, or saving the world from nuclear disaster, Bodie was always ready for action, and he never failed to deliver. So, if you're a fan of the professionals, or just looking for a dose of nostalgia, join us as we take a trip down memory lane and revisit the unforgettable character of Lewis Collins' Bodie. In a small town on the rural peninsula in Cheshire, a baby boy was born on May 27, 1946. His parents named him Lewis Collins. As the tender age of two, Lewis won the coveted title of the most beautiful baby in a Liverpool contest. Growing up, Lewis attended Gotby Road Primary School and later Grange School in Birkenhead, as well as the prestigious Birkenhead Institute School. It was during his teenage years that his passion for music and firearms developed. At the age of 13, Lewis's father, a jazz dance band leader, bought him his first drum kit. Lewis's first gig was playing with his father's band, and he also joined a group of older school pupils to form a band called the Renegades at the start of the Mercy Beat music scene in Liverpool in the late 1950s. But music wasn't his only interest. Lewis was also a member of the Liverpool Central Rifle Club, where he developed a love for firearms that would stay with him throughout his life. After finishing school, Lewis took an apprenticeship at the Andre Bernard Salon as a hairdresser, alongside his fellow apprentice, Mike McCartney. Lewis Collins was a young man with a passion for music in the 1960s. He spent his days writing songs with Mike McCartney, the younger brother of Paul McCartney, and playing with the local bands in Liverpool, including the Eyes and the Georgians. When the Beatles drummer Pete Best was let go, Mike suggested Collins as a possible replacement. However, Collins turned down the opportunity to audition for the Beatles, choosing instead to continue playing music on an amateur basis. In late 1964, Collins decided to leave his job as a hairdresser to pursue music full-time. He joined the Mojos as their bass player and moved with the band from Liverpool to London, where they had high commercial prospects. Collins performed on their chart-topping singles, Goodbye Dolly Gray and Until My Baby Comes Home. Despite the band's success, Collins found himself struggling to make ends meet in cosmopolitan London during the swinging 60s. He took on a variety of temporary jobs, including delivery van driving, cleaning windows, and waiting tables. Lewis Collins continued to pursue his passion for acting and enrolled at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art in 1968. He quickly made a name for himself among his peers for his riveting performance in the lead role of Romeo in a production of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. After graduating from the Academy in 1971, Collins joined the Chesterfield Civic Theatre's repertory company. The following year, he moved to Glasgow to work with the Citizens Theatre under the direction of Giles Havergal. While in Glasgow, Collins also took on a meaningful role teaching mobility skills to deaf and mute children and learned British Sign Language to better communicate with them. In 1973, Collins returned to London to make his West End debut in City Sugar and the Three Penny Opera. He then went on to star in The Farm at the Royal Court Theatre, directed by Lindsay Anderson. Collins' dedication and talent for acting continued to impress those he worked with and helped him establish a strong reputation in the theater world. Throughout his career, the actor Phil Collins moved between film and theater roles. He never gave up his passion for the stage, returning to perform in various productions over the years. In 1983, he starred in a pantomime production of Babes in the Wood at the King's Theater in Southsea during the Christmas season. His last performance on stage was in the Dangerous Corner Provincial Tour in the English Midlands from 1999 to 2000. While Collins was performing in the farm at the Royal Court in 1973, he received an offer for his first television role in the British Broadcasting Corporation's police drama Z-Cars. 
This led to his first major television role as the lead in Granada Television's comedy series, The Cuckoo Waltz, from 1975 to 1977. In 1976, Collins was cast in a new British television crime action drama series called The Professionals, which was produced by Brian Clemens. The show was modeled after the successful American television series, Starsky and Hutch, and intended to be a more realistic follow-up to a prior successful television series that Clemens had produced, entitled The New Avengers. Collins played a prominent role in the show, which ran for five seasons and became a fan favorite. Clemens was planning to create a new television show with a split leads casting arrangement. He had already cast Martin Shaw as one of the leads. However, during the first week of filming the pilot episode with Anthony Andrews, Clemens realized that there was no personal on-screen chemistry between Andrews and Shaw. Their acting styles were too similar. To find a suitable replacement, Clemens saw a recently filmed episode of The New Avengers, where Shaw and Collins had appeared together. He noticed a noticeable dynamic tension between them in their acting style and off-screen private personalities. After a screen test of Collins, he replaced Andrews as William Bodie. Although Collins and Shaw didn't get on particularly well personally, their good-humored antagonism and bravado on screen worked well. The series was a huge success on British television for the next six years and made household names of them both. In 1982, he tried out for the role of James Bond with Eon Productions, the producers of the James Bond film series, to replace Roger Moore. However, during the audition with the producer, Cubby Broccoli, things did not go well and he was rejected for being too aggressive. Collins looks back on this as the most significant missed opportunity of his acting career. In the early 1990s, Collins wanted to expand his career prospects in the dramatic arts beyond acting. He decided to attend courses in screenwriting and direction at the UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television in Los Angeles, California, USA. Despite attending the courses, he did not receive any subsequent job opportunities in the industry. Lewis Collins, an actor known for his roles in British television dramas, moved his family to Los Angeles in the mid-1990s. While there, he worked part-time and occasionally returns to England for minor acting roles and provincial theater tours. In 2002, he made his final acting performance in an episode of British television police drama series, The Bill, entitled 034. Collins married Michelle Lorette, a schoolteacher, in 1992, and together they had three sons, Oliver, Elliot, and Cameron. However, in 2008, Collins was diagnosed with cancer which eventually took his life at the age of 67 on November 27, 2013 in Los Angeles. The news of his passing saddened his fans and he will always be remembered for his contribution to British television. Goodbye, Lewis Collins.